Welcome to Model Land, a place where all the economic models live in their purest forms. There are no bad days in Model Land, but there's no good days either because there are no normative statements. Everything runs in harmony, perfect rationality, utility maximization, and has all kinds of micro foundations. There he is, the stereotypical model, the representative agent. Ah, one more day zero to live. Isn't it awesome? I already know my whole life and every day is the same day. Nothing can go wrong. Dollar offer, Regent. Five dollar, Regent. Hi, Macaul. Oh, hi, representative agent. Still looking for a job? Yeah, you know, one day I find a good job offer, and that will be over, because I will never be, I will never quit, and more importantly, we won't be fired. My tenure. You know, um, you could search for a job while you're working. You know that, right? Yeah. But that will be more complicated. Let's assume I won't. Okay, fair enough. Hi, Hobson Cruiser. Oh, hey, Representative Agent. Hi, OG Models. Hi, Hi Representative, Representative Agent. Agent. Like what I was saying, you should be giving me money. Why would I give you money? You are so old. A transfer from young to old is a pretty improvement. But who would give me money then? You will be old someday and the young generation will give you money. Ah, okay. Mm. Hi, social planner. Hi, representative agent. Did you get my plans for your barbecue tonight? Yes, I totally did. Thank you so much. You're so benevolent. You're welcome. We'll see you there. Haha, <laughs> representative agent. You are so useful. Yeah, and you're simple. Everybody loves you. Thanks, thanks. You know, I've been meaning to ask you something for a while. Ask us anything, we love hearing from you. Yeah. Have you, have you guys ever thought about reality? Hell yeah! I am reality! Stuff and nonsense, we, we are, are reality. reality! No, I'm reality! No, no I'm I am okay, reality! Okay, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. There is only way, one way to settle this. I've made up my mind. I'm going to the real world. <gasps> the real world? But you're just a model, it's dangerous out there. Relax, I will start at the economics department of the University of Minnesota. The economists love me. They will have my back. Finally, here I am. Now let's look for an economist to show me what reality looks like. Hey, hi, it's me. Who? I'm you. What are you, a religious philosopher or something? No, I'm you in the models. I am the representative agent. I'm here to ask you a couple questions and figure out which model is reality. So, let's see. Do you have preferences over consumption and leisure? Yes. Okay, great. Do you have a budget constraint? I do. Do you work and receive a wage? Yes, I do work and I receive a wage. So naturally, you want capital? On capital, I wish. So it's like an endowment economy? Uh, endowment economy? No. It's just that some people own capital, some don't. What do you mean? Not everybody the same? No, not everybody's the same. By the way, does Ellen know that you're here? You might want to avoid her. She's the destroyer of models. The mother of I'd have done it differently. The queen of, based on your title. I would assume that. Don't worry, I fear nothing but no conversions. Let's grab a coffee. Sure, do you have a preferred coffee firm around here? Yesterday I got Starbucks, but I kind of regret it. I think I wasn't behaving completely rationally. Today I'm feeling like getting a mocha at Caribou. What? Inconsistent time? Time inconsistent preference? That's weird. Whoa, there's so many options. I guess I can make sense of that. I just need an optimal bottle. Can I swap it at home? I'd like a hot chocolate. Not that I have. Mm, that would be seven dollars. Wait, why you choose a hot chocolate? The last person just chose a vanilla latte. Uh, why are you choosing something different? Representative agent, not all people have the same preferences. That's crazy.
And what is this green, this green thing you use for payments? Can't you just transfer your wealth? That's money. Does it make any difference? Depends. Some professors think it doesn't. What about taxes? Do you have them in the real world? Depends. Some professors think that we don't. Come, let's go to seminar. Welcome to seminar. Today I'll be presenting a paper co-authored by Maria Cristina called Female Labor Supply and Why Women Need to be Included in Economic Models. One reason that we'll be discussing in this, that women need to be included in economic models, is they account for 35% of hours worked in the workforce, but only 26% of income. Hmm. What, does, what does it mean? Doesn't everybody contribute the same number of hours and earn the same wage? And why is a woman? I'm a woman, now be quiet and listen to my presentation. Who's that guy over there on Twitter? He looks old. That's Tim Keith. Oh my, how many generations do people live here in real life? And who is this guy with the Diet Coca-Cola? That's Larry Jones. He drinks Coke, fishes, and solves economic models for a living. So this is the real world of the result. Let's pay attention to the seminar and I'll introduce you to some more people after. So how exactly do you know if something should go in a model or not? It has to capture reality, doesn't it? We don't really care about reality. We just care if Charlie's going to crush our paper in seminar. Wait, so Charlie is the one who decides what is real or not? Usually, yes. We're all frightened of him, so we just do what he says. What about the social planner? Do you have one? Kara's the boss around here. She allocates money and makes sure that pizza is delivered at all the seminars. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, Kara. She sounds benevolent. Uh, shall we go? Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. So, let me introduce you to Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Hi, Hannah. Is it okay if we take a piece of candy? Sure, take as many as you like. Oh, well, thank you. Wait, for free? Do you have a sachet for point or something like that? So, do you have transfers or bequests? Our funding comes from the undergrads, and sometimes Tim buys this beer at happy hour. Very generous donors. Mmm, very good. So, um, what about taxes? Does everybody pay the same equal lump sum tax? Well, there's too much inequality. If we had equal lump sum taxes, not everybody would be able to pay it. Well, so what inequality? Isn't everybody the same? Oh, no. Not everybody's the same. Like us grad students, we're basically below the poverty line. Oh, so it's a heterogeneous agent model then? Well, heterogeneous agent models, they don't fit reality. They still don't have enough inequality compared to reality. I don't understand which model fits reality then. There are some people who are still learning how to create models that better fit reality. Come with me. Mm. Come in. Hmm. What is he doing? He seems desperate. He's trying to figure out how much you should consume today and tomorrow. What? But this is basic math. I do this on my head every time. Can't he just do it? And who is this guy? He seems so miserable. They don't even have windows here. Can't have windows. Just use Mac instead. And are you studying macro again? Don't you have micro exams too? Professors say to make our optimization problem as parsimonious as possible, so I assume my micro grade is exogenous. So this is the guy giving me an existential crisis. Yep, feel better now? At least I know the answer to my question. I'll go back to motherland. <clears throat> so represented major. You've been to the real world. Please tell us which one of us represents the reality the best. Okay, so after much consideration, I figure out which model is the best. Drum roll, please. The model that best represents reality is the juggle economy. Yeah!